Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Prison Architects. Things going a little bit smoother, I think. Um, well... Maybe not, we did just find that guy with a knife. But apart from the whole knife thing, I think it's okay. Why do I have a metal detector here where people can just go around it? You know what, this snit... I don't even know what that was supposed to be. Uh, is gonna get straight up... No, don't search it, just dismantle it. No, it's not a box. Sure, whatever, get out, I don't care, I just want it gone. It's causing electrical issues. Can we accept 19 more prisoners? That would take us to our maximum capacity. So, with, without even having to do the math, we know that that's not correct. We have a 101 capacity for normal security inmates. And right now, we have like 97 or something like that, just with a quick cursory glance at the math. So, uh, we are... Just not going to do that. I need to take a quick look here. Yeah, you're about to be overloaded. So it's possible that today's episode is an episode on which we can actually start to uh, expand again. I would like to do it. We have all this unused space over here. Uh, we could we could build it up, and I think it's actually like our prison is going relatively well. I want to take a quick look at our programs just to see. Oh man, we did not have a very good uh, completion rate in our foundation program, probably because people are so suppressed, but again, keeps the murder down, so it's kind of a hard, uh, hard thing to say no to. Hmm. What about uh, if I look at grants, what can we do? Education reform, that's going to take 100 years to finish. Tool cleanup, remove the supply of stolen tools, remove the supply of stolen weapons. So this would require probably a shakedown. Cell block D, get to 200 prisoners. I'll take it even though it's not that good of a uh, uh, of a kind of option for us. Just be like it doesn't pay out that well financially. 30,000 is going to cost us like 70,000 to get the capacity anyway, but we're going to do it anyway because we need more prisoners, more money anyway. Might as well get the extra bonus out of it if we're going to do it regardless. Um, what about carpentry? Why are zero interested in qualified in carpentry? Is it because they're too suppressed? How many prisoners are suppressed? 94. So it would be good if we could maybe lower the suppression a little bit. Like for example, this armed guard, if I go to my deployment, do I trust people not to murder? Have I set things up in the appropriate fashion to have people be a little less murdery? I think maybe. Uh, so why don't we have like unarmed guard here, for people who try to escape this way. We already have one there, and then we'll have one armed guard, like, here, for prisoners who try to escape this way. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna take one out of our canteen and one out of our yard, hopefully to lower the suppression. So we had 96 before, we'll see how this changes. Uh, in the meantime, let's look at our needs, prisoner need. Food is still a big one. Is it because, like, I really think that one of the things I'd love to see in Alpha 26 is making it so that you can actually have, uh, you can assign cooks to kitchens, because I think by putting this extra kitchen up here, what I would love to do is just be like, okay, one chef or two chefs, you'll handle this, because there's only three prisoners. But instead, I think, like, all the chefs are like, we have to max out this kitchen, max out this kitchen down here, and then max out this kitchen down here. So the, the, the cooks get, like, a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, basically they're working in an inefficient way. They're working hard, but not smart, is the way that I would describe it. Let's take a quick look at confidential informants, because I want to see if maybe we can move anybody to, uh, different areas of the prison to make room in our normal security area. But for now, there's a lot of people who are not getting fed. We'll wait and see, because I think there's a, a feeding period at, like, eight. We'll see if, how these, uh, how our food stat gets affected by this. Because... If they're all hungry and they're having trouble actually getting in here, uh, and, you know, they're not being able to eat in time, that's going to affect things. Like, it seems like there's really not that much food actually coming out of this kitchen, at least not in time. By the time, like, people actually get sat down to eat, the meal time is almost over. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if we need more cookers or more cooks. But our food is definitely not being handled properly. If I go to prison policy, we already have high medium quantity, which is normally enough to just handle it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of both. I'm gonna say, you know what? How many cooks do we have? Seven. Let's hire two more. Maybe three more. 
And uh, we're also going to put down some more cookers. And this is going to be inefficient, and I recognize that it's inefficient. But I can't really... Oh, you know what? I can. Oh, but then it'll cross the streams. No, we're going to have to put the cookers down in this kitchen up here, even though it seems like it doesn't make any sense. The reason we have to do this is because uh, otherwise we'll overload the uh, power capacity of our... Uh, other kitchen or of our other um, power generator so pretty much we have to get this done otherwise uh, or we have to do this up here otherwise we're gonna have a problem so I don't think we should let more prisoners in because we're having trouble feeding the ones that we already have you know you can't eat your pudding until you finish your meat always thought no oh, the cookers like totally backwards isn't it they'll still be able to use it it just looks terrible um, I always thought that you know in Pink Floyd's The Wall, it was always weird. You can't have your pudding until you finish your meat. The meat is the best part, man. At least it was for me when I was a kid. If you give me like a roast beef, mashed potatoes, some boiled uh, vegetables, I'm all about the roast beef. Especially if you get a nice gravy for that. You keep the pudding. You take my pudding, I'll take your roast beef. Now, we're making very good money, I would say. I'm, I'm going to kind of just wait out another day just to see if we can get enough... Uh, enough prisoners, uh, or enough uh, food, I should say, to feed our prisoners. One thing I saw, because I, I do browse the Prison Architect subreddit, and if you play Prison Architect, I would strongly encourage you to check out the Prison Architect subreddit. Um, do we really not have a guard station to work in our freaking security room? There we go. That should get handled, because otherwise, you know, there's no point. Oh, we should look at our confidential informants, but yeah, go, um... Go to the Prison Architect subreddit, participate. I want to see that become more uh, popular, you know? I know that there's hundreds of thousands of people that own Prison Architects. And, uh, I guess we'll search that. We can't? Okay. Uh, I know there's hundreds of thousands of people that play this game, but not that many people participate on the subreddit, which I find unfortunate, because I'm always going there trying to learn, like, new information. But anyway, um, what's, uh, what people have been saying is that the, the new meta, quote-unquote, for, like, how to use Canteens and kitchens. I believe it's one big can one big kitchen right at the entrance because again There's no way to assign cooks to you know work where you want them to work So you kind of just have one big kitchen right at the entrance and then canteens kind of coming off like spokes on that So almost like the kitchen is the center of the prison and then canteens and then you build like cells out from it That's probably not that much of a necessity for us considering I'm um, You know not even close to a min max type player um, but it's Maybe something that we'll think about in the future if the next alpha doesn't allow us to uh, assign cooks to kitchens. Which I have no reason to believe that it will allow us to assign cooks to kitchens, but why not? So is this guy... I know you're a confidential informant. At least I think you are. You've only been in our prison for three days and I almost got you killed already? Are you not confidential informant? No, you're not. Okay, maybe I, I fired one. Um, you probably don't need to be in protective custody then anymore. But I don't want to put you back in normal because, you know... It's kind of like, I like having the capacity in normal. How long have you been waiting there to get sent to uh, solitary confinement? Long time. We need to hire some more guards. My prison is very inefficiently run. There we go. We'll hire three more. It's a, a little bit of extra money every day. But if it helps the prison run more smoothly, I'm fine with it. At least I'm happy that our prisoners are using multiple doors now. It's a start. Prisoners also real ornery about the whole food situation. So this is an important period. Let's see. They have a long time to eat. Do they have enough food to eat? Can they actually get sitting down, eat enough food to not want to riot? The answer to that question appears to be no. Alrighty then. So what would I suggest in this situation? Well, that's a darn good question. I would suggest that we probably, excuse me, Oh, he's in reform program. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that we're going to need even more cooks. And we probably need even another cooker. Even though it seems super inefficient to place it up here, I think this is pretty much the only way that we can place it so that it doesn't result in our, uh, you know, prison basically going dark. We'll put another fridge down here as well. Uh, well, look. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat, this is going to be the worst looking prison kitchen of all time. But if it helps our prisoners actually get fed and thus not riot, I'm happy. Prisoners are not getting fed. And we've now 70 more prisoners are less suppressed. Or 70 less prisoners are suppressed is the way that I should phrase that. Um, which 
is good because it means they'll work harder, but it does also mean that they can riot more often. When's the next meal time? You know, food is it. You don't get a lot of. Don't riot. You don't get a lot of comforts in prison. Food is a big concern here. Like, 40 prisoners are real perturbed by the whole food situation. When's our uh, regime? Regime, regime. Eating at one. So we're going to follow our big kitchen again. I'm assuming that the maximum security prisoners are getting fed. And I'm assuming that our um, protective custody are getting fed. Because they have like three chefs for three people. So it should work just fine. Is it also that they're just having trouble getting into the canteen in time? It could be that. It takes them like 45 minutes just to sit down. Man, it really seems like... Like, there's not a whole lot of food out here. Yeah, they're, they're starting to get a little ornery. So we're gonna have to... We're gonna have to sort this out pretty quickly. I would say step one is we probably go to uh, deployment. Armed guards. Put another armed guard there and take this guy off that patrol. Uh, because we really need... Uh, we need to stop a riot here. And there is gonna be a riot if... If things don't work out. Yeah, people are getting pretty mad about the whole... Oh, no, he's just going through withdrawal. You know what else I'm going to do is during that lunch period, I think I'm going to change around our regime so it doesn't go eat yard. I'm going to change it so it goes eat free time and then the yard after. And I'm going to do it so that, um, so that they have time to eat in the morning. Yeah. Or sorry, not so they have time to eat in the morning, but so they have an extra like two hours after to kind of like pick up the leftovers if if they need to eat because they didn't get into the cafeteria in time or there wasn't enough food or what have you. Um, could it also be that there's just not enough serving tables? Like I'm, I'm basically, I'm not worried about troubleshooting the exact problem. I'm mostly just worried about getting the problem sorted out. So I'm going to throw down another couple of serving tables there just in case capacity there was an issue. But this is something I very much want to get sorted out as soon as possible. Otherwise, we're going to have major concerns. This guy is, they're straight up starving. There's no food to eat. Alright, uh, that, you know, this is striking me as a, kind of a powder keg of a situation here that could erupt pretty quickly. Speaking of a powder keg, let's take a look at the valuation of our prison. Ooh, almost $500,000, which is like a $433,800 evaluation, or valuation, I should say. Which is pretty awesome. I'm, uh, I'm excited about those kind of possibilities. So one thing that I might like to do is set up maybe a second canteen. The problem with setting up a second canteen is that I worry about our supply chain management. As it is right now, food comes in through deliveries. Boom. Workmen take the food or chefs take the food from deliveries into this kitchen or into whatever kitchen they're going to, which are all fairly close to deliveries, relatively speaking. So the like getting food into this canteen is super efficient. It's as efficient as any kitchen in our uh, in our entire prison or any canteen in our prison. So if our problem is that this prison is oh this is not shaping up great. If 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 this canteen is not efficient enough, then making a second canteen is not going to help the problem too much, I think. Well, how are you guys injured? Just go to the infirmary. I guess you got to wait for free time, huh? Well, nobody's going to riot. What's our uh, what are our needs like? That's not really that much better, honestly. But we certainly can't let in uh, any more prisoners until we get our food situation sorted here. Uh, but I, I think, honestly, one thing that would help a lot is putting down more cookers here. But if I put down the cookers, I don't think there's any way to do it without accidentally causing an incredible breakdown in our uh, electricity. So I think what I could do is put... I'm going to try it, all right? And I realize that at this point, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall and hoping it sticks. I'm also going to put some bins here, because you nasty down here, like, seriously, put your shit in the trash if you can. I'm going to make it impossible for you not to. So I'm going to put a couple of cookers here. Please don't wire yourselves in directly. Please don't wire yourselves in directly. Oh, I love you. Thank you for not wiring yourselves in directly. Then what we... Oh, but we can't get through without crossing the freaking stream! Um... No, we can. Okay. Electrical cables here and here. And then... Disable the electrical cables, like, here. Materials. I don't really want to demolish the walls, if possible. 
Hmm. It, there, there's some thinking that has to be done here. I could go all the way around. There's still no place for me to get in. Who? This is a very weird one. I'm sure if I wire a cook in, cooker in there, this whole thing's just gonna black out. Um, so, like, the electrical cables here are not a problem. What I'm, here's my problem in case you aren't familiar with what's, what I'm talking about right now. I could wire this around here, but I need to kind of, like, create a gap that I can actually fit these wires into. And that might actually solve our problem. The problem is, I don't know, how do we, um... How do I take wires out of a wall without demolishing the wall? Maybe we just demolish the wall. Or wait, let, let's take it this way. If I go to like electrical cables, is there any way that I can dismantle electrical cables as is? Like I can take this one and go like, no, get rid of it. I don't think that worked. Yeah, I don't think this does anything. Once electrical cables are down, they're just down? What, I need to create like an electrical bridge or something like that. All right, I'll tell you what. Here we go. We're gonna try to wire one of these cookers in. Don't F it up. This might wire the second one in as well, and I'm pretty sure we're at our capacity. We're about to find out. Here they go. And the moment of truth quickly awaits us here. One more. Holy crap. Oh, I really, really thought that was going to work. All right, well, what if we dismantle this cooker? People are like, why does the power keep going out in the prison at night? I'm sorry. Switch on. Switch on. We should really go to, like, one speed right now. Switch on. Switch on. I, you know, it's a high-level problem to have, I guess, but I really should have thought about our electrical system more, but I never thought, I've never had a prison before where I needed two generators, so I recognize this is probably a pretty annoying problem to have to watch me deal with, but at the same time is kind of just like, you know, it, this is learning by doing. I've kind of thrown myself into the deep end here. Let's see if we can handle one cooker, because we've already dismantled the other one. Work with me, baby. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to uh, say anything until we were sure that that was going to work out, but cool. We have another working cooker. So again, we're going to go one more day here because I really want to let in more prisoners, but we got this, you know, we got a food problem. If we can handle our food problem, it becomes less of a problem. And that's great then I can start building to allow more prisoners. And I mean, we're making money on a daily basis here, so I don't feel uh, like we're, we're really missing out. You know, better to solve our problem now before it gets out of hand. All right, so we start with a little bit of free time in the morning. Then it's shower time. And then it's food time. We got three cookers running here. 39 prisoners have serious complaints, and I'm pretty sure that lines up perfectly with that. It's like all food. Now it's food time. It does take them a long time to actually get to the point where they get into the canteen, but I've given them so many doors. I guess, you know, you know what a big problem here is? The hallways should be two tiles wide instead of one. That's something I've also read on the subreddit, um, but you should really, in high traffic areas, make your hallways two tiles wide. Which we can do. Sort of. Mm, it's going to require some work. Alright, so that's two hours of, of eating done. Let's see how that handled it. It, 19 prisoners had their food needs pretty much taken care of. This might just be the kind of thing that has to propagate down. You know, prisoners who are starving eat, and then prisoners who are used to be starving but are now fairly well fed eat later, and the starving prisoners can get into the queue. So we're going to kind of let this propagate out for a couple days here and see if it works. Uh, yeah... Yeah, okay. When we're talking about expansion, what are we going to talk about? Well, really, I kind of want to just throw, like, a generator right in the middle of this. <laughs> and just use this as, like, our cooker generator. But I don't think that's the proper way to handle it. I would really actually love to get those utility cables taken care of. Maybe that's something I'll try to sort out off camera. Oh, dismantle utility. There's just a button for it. Well, why didn't you tell me? 
Um, so we can, like, totally do this. And with that taken care of, then we should have, like, a bridge that we can sneak, like, another five or six cookers down here. We may not need that many. And by doing this, like, there's still one connection, right? Yeah, so the electricity can totally get through. Okay, alright. So be smart here. Comes through like this, and then down like that. But don't quite fill in the gaps. And then we'll go dismantle utility. I hope I didn't dismantle that pipe, that would be annoying. And we'll dismantle all these bad boys right there. Uh, don't, don't, not that one. <laughs> that one's fine. And once this is sorted out, we should be able to put more cookers in here without actually crossing the streams. And how are people doing from a feeding perspective right now? Okay, still not fantastic. But we've kind of gotten it started here, so we'll put down some more cookers. I'm sure that we're going to need more fridges and stuff like that as well. But let's just start with the, the cooker situation, you know? Again, these should probably be like up against a wall or something. But I don't really care as long as they get the food production done. Alrighty. And we'll wait for this uh, set of electrical cables to be built. And when it's done, I think our food situation is going to be much, much better. And also, no chefs will ever want to work in this kitchen because of the sheer stupid amount of uh, smoke that's going to be produced in here. But we'll install some ventilation hoods or something like that. Whatever we have to do to, you know, meet OSHA requirements. Alright, so you guys are all pretty much done there. Those electrical cables are going to take some time to build. And once this is sorted out, I think this is going to solve our capacity woes for quite some time. At least from a food perspective. Now, we have to be extraordinarily careful to never cross the streams because it'll blow up the whole prison. That's not something I'm uh, excited about. I would rather not blow up the prison. It could be exciting, though. We could sell it right as the explosion hits just for, uh, you know, tax purposes. We've got some electrical grid coming out here. Just want to make sure the cookers get going here because it is eating time pretty soon. Get that area. Oh, that yeah, yeah, they're wired up. Okay, uh, I'm loving it. Cool beans. Um, did you dismantle those pipes? No, everything seems to be working according to plan. Oh, I'm so excited. All right. Now our kitchens look god awful. That's just, it is what it is, man. There's not a whole lot I can do about that right now. I mean, there is, but just to keep uh, the prison functional is my number one concern. So it's working time. Now we haven't had any riots. Or, you know, fights in a while. I know that the riots are different. I just call them riots because, I mean, I think there's a thin line between a fight and a riot when you're talking about a prison. So, uh, I, I'd prefer to, you know, just not understate any threats. We should definitely have a metal detector. Wait, what, what grid is this hooked up to? Okay, light green grid. That's fine. We should definitely have a metal detector on our kitchen, because I'm pretty sure during free time, people will just walk in there. Because there's no door, which is idiotic of me. Um, let's look at deployment again, make sure everything's decked out the way we want it to be. Yeah, this is all um, normal security. Visitation can be everybody. This, this appears proper, yes, I think. Cool. And the supply chain seems to be working out relatively well. And the food needs have gone down. I'm surprised. It took me a lot of, a lot of kind of trial and error to figure it out. But I'm, I'm now extremely happy that we seem to have our prison sorted out in a way that is functional for us. So we can't let in new inmates tomorrow. But we'll uh, definitely work on a cell block expansion tomorrow. Because we can. So this is, uh, this is it for this episode. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks in advance for your tips and, you know, belatedly for your tips as well. And I'll see you next time.